Hey, what's up guys? JQ back with Tech Creation, where I use technology for recreation. Back with a quick video, and today we have the Logitech MX Vertical Advanced Ergonomic Mouse. So it's been over a year since I reviewed the MX Master 2S, and it's been my daily mouse ever since. I've edited several videos with this bad boy right here. It's been reliable, it's had great battery, and with all the features I need to aid my productivity, there was really no need for me to upgrade. But then Logitech introduced the MX Vertical and having never experienced the Vertical Mouse, I decided to give it a shot. So here's everything you need to know about the MX Vertical by Logitech. So the idea of a Vertical Mouse isn't exactly new, it's only new to Logitech's MX lineup. And if you've never used one of these before, the first thing that you'll notice holding it in the hand is its unique angular design. And it looks a bit futuristic because it's designed in a way that requires less hand movement from the user and Logitech determined that 57 degrees is the optimal angle for your hand to rest in order to reduce fatigue over prolonged use. And I'll go more into detail about that in just a moment. It has this really nice soft rubber material along the body that allows you to really grip and hug the mouse. It's very natural, very comfortable, and it does attract a good amount of dust, but it comes off easily with just a few finger swipes. Now it's also USB-C enabled, so thankfully it's keeping up with the times and it integrates perfectly with my Thunderbolt 3 amusement park that I got going on here. At the moment, it's only available in dark gray and I would have liked to see more colors and hopefully they'll release more colors in the future, but I personally don't mind because it goes well with my Space Gray MacBook Pro and it doesn't look too bad sitting next to my Matthias wireless backlit keyboard. And it's also good too because it won't get as visibly dirty as my white Master 2S did, turning yellow in some areas over the course of time. So it's definitely less upkeep in my situation owning a gray MX vertical. And unfortunately it's only available for right-handed users. So all my lefties out there are gonna have to look elsewhere unfortunately. As I first began sliding it around the table, the very first thought that popped into my head was Pac-Man because it has that joystick feel going on. At first, your muscle memory will be thrown off. It's definitely gonna feel foreign if your whole life you've been using a standard computer mouse. So it's really just a matter of rewiring your brain and adapting your muscles to it. So the MX Vertical retains the same great software features found in the previous MX lineup, such as customizable buttons, button profiles that change behavior depending on which application is open, as well as Logitech's flow feature that allows you to transfer files between two separate computers using the Logitech Options software. As for the hardware, we still get most of our buttons, such as our forward and back navigation buttons, a single customizable button up top, as well as a clickable scroll wheel, and you can customize and choose what all of these buttons do with the Logitech Options software. And that's just about where all the similarities stop. So there are a few features missing that I used quite heavily before. So that single square button on the Master 2S is your mode shift button by default for their advanced adaptive scrolling feature that lets you switch between a ratchet click to click scroll and hyper fast scrolling with the click of a button. And that just doesn't exist with the MX vertical. We only get one type of scroll and that is the ratchet scrolling. So naturally it's gonna take you a little longer to scroll through long documents and web pages and the downsides only continue from here. So another thing that I immediately noticed was I didn't realize how often I use the clickable surface found on the Master 2S until I found myself attempting to click on the MX vertical by force habit only to realize it doesn't click. I had that surface button configured to activate mission control on my Mac just because it felt most natural and so to compensate on the MX vertical, I instead mapped mission control to that button found up top. And doing so just feels very weird moving my thumb up here instead. It's just unorthodox and it throws off your grip as opposed to the Master 2S. So that's another disappointment that I found using the MX vertical. Something else that I must mention is that another button I took for granted was the side scroll wheel that's nowhere to be found on the MX Vertical. And I use this a lot when editing to quickly side scroll along my Final Cut Pro timeline and now I can't do that anymore. So it definitely does change my editing experience quite a lot. And the last thing that I wanna talk about is one of the things that you'll run into with this mouse a lot is accidental clicks. So when using the forward and back navigation buttons, since that does require a small amount of grip, oftentimes your fingertips on the opposite side would end up right clicking and doing something you didn't wanna do. So oftentimes I'll find myself reloading web pages by accident or just creating new folders on my desktop when trying to move the cursor around to the point where I would have to adjust and end up clicking the buttons like this in order to avoid that. So there's a lot of compromise and adjusting that you're gonna have to do 
if you're coming from a standard mouse. Now on the upside, one of the biggest benefits owning an MX Vertical over the Master 2S and probably its biggest selling point is comfort. Logitech really knew what they were doing when they designed this. So I edited my last two videos with this mouse from beginning to end. And when it was all said and done after eight to 10 hours, I had nowhere near the stress and fatigue that I would have experienced had I used the MX Master 2S instead, where I would often get a lot of pain in my pinky finger. And here's why. If you examine my placement holding the Master 2S, my pinky is just kind of hanging out there doing nothing. So leaving it in that same position for hours, you can see how that would stress out the pinky over time. Whereas with the MX Vertical, it caters to our natural resting hand position in relation to our wrist. So if you were to relax your hand on a table, for example, you'll notice how it naturally goes into this clamshell position and using the MX Vertical, it doesn't change that too much. So for anyone who is experiencing aches in your hand and wrist after prolonged mouse use, this is definitely a mouse that I could highly recommend. Otherwise, I would pick up a Master 2S for all your other productivity needs. Now, as far as battery life is concerned, Logitech usually does a pretty good job in this department and it didn't come fully charged out the box and one month later, I still haven't even charged it. I'm just waiting till it dies to give it a full proper charge. It's rated for four months battery life on a full charge. So that's one month extra over the Master 2S, which is a plus and it's obviously all going to depend on how much you use it. Now I have one bar remaining from its three bar battery system and it would have been nice to see battery percentage instead just for measure, but we do have the option to be notified when the battery is running low. So it's equipped with a fast rechargeable battery that gives you about three hours use from a one minute charge, which I mean, that's something you literally can't even complain about. And you also get a discrete LED on the mouse when you first turn it on to indicate the remaining battery life with red obviously meaning it's time to recharge. And if for some reason you still aren't satisfied, you can always use it plugged in while it's charging. So in conclusion, because it doesn't have things like side scroll, an adaptive scroll wheel, and the clickable surface, I'd say this is not a mouse aided so much for productivity, but it's more of a comfort mouse than anything else. Personally, I'm not sure how long I will continue to use this mouse, and I really wish that I can merge the comfort and productivity of both mouses into one, and I'm sure Logitech will give us that sometime in the future lineup. So that's it. I hope this video has been helpful and if you found some value and I helped you make a decision, please let me know by dropping a comment down below as well as showing me some love to that like button. And if you're new to the channel and this is your first time, please be sure to subscribe and make sure you turn on the alerts notification so you don't miss out on some more incredible tech videos. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.